Hi, welcome back to the Bonnie B. Hawkins Drama Time Theater TV. On today's episode, you're going to meet a lady by the name of Miss Margarita Scotchingbird. Yes. So Ms. sit Margarita back and relax here. and see what Ms. she has Ms. to say as she's working in the Margarita office so of a firm called yeah, Mr. The Foolishman and Associates. Yeah. 
girls down the cell phones no more. Some of us do and some of us don't. But look, y'all. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. Right here. Right here. Right here. Y'all like it? Y'all like that phone? Okay, then good. Now, this is the real deal. I don't know what to do. But wait a minute. I'm going to sit right down here. Yes. Okay, I, I know what to do with this phone. Y'all know what to do with this phone? Man, F O O 
But he said, first he wanted to know, how'd you get that name? That's the foolish man. You said what? What? Oh, God. You sure you want me to tell him that? You might lose the contract behind that. You sure you want me to tell him that? Then again, that's named that Mr. Foolish Man. What else would you expect? Okay. I mean, even my name is named, my name, as I told y'all, uh, my name is Margarita Scottish Footman. Okay. Mar Margarita Scottish Man. That's my name. Even a name like Margarita Scottish Man, I got a little humor in mine. He ain't got no humor. I mean, maybe he's, I don't know, maybe that's what a name like Mr. Foolish Man and Associates does. You know, hanging up, got me um, hanging up on contractors and everything. Boy, I don't know much about office because I have repped in one for many years. But I never knew an office where you're going to come in an office and you're going to hang up on your highest paying possible customer. Your client that you possibly can make millions out of because he's a, he's full of money. He's a million. He's millions and millions. Let me ask Miss Y'all. Excuse me. Let me ask Miss Mr. Foolish Man something. Excuse me, Mr. Foolish Man. Mr. Foolish Man. Do you have millions of dollars? That's not a funny question. Everybody out there else might be laughing, but I ain't laughing. Why is, uh, what in the world is going on? Uh, are you that rich that you can turn down million dollar contracts? Well, maybe I am in the right office. Because, I mean, if you got a million, sure you can give me at least a, a, a thousand, right? For today, for reckon for two hours today, give me at least a thousand dollars, right? I'm not being funny, you know? You, talk, you got a nerve to say people are being funny. With that name, Mr. Foolish Man, who you think would really be funny? I'm not being funny. If you got millions, if you can hang up on a, if you can hang up on a, some, a million dollar contract, that means you must got some money. What? What? Yes, a little bit. And he's a little bit. It's a little bit missing up there. But you know something? I don't care if it's a little bit missing. If he's going to pay me a thousand dollars today, everything can be missing. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Not everything, not everything. Get your head out the gun. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I am not talking about that. He got to have something on. Is that what y'all was thinking? When I said everything can be missing, is that what y'all was thinking? I wasn't talking about his attire, his clothes. I'm talking about anything up here can be missing. But no, my goodness, no, my goodness. I know, no, 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 no. That's the people on social media talking like that. I was talking to them. Uh, Mr. Foolish Man, I was talking to some people out there. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Foolish Man, I ain't got much to do today. I don't know how to wreck this computer. And uh, you just hung up, had me hang up on a contractor. Over a million dollars. He, he was rough. He said he rough more, more than a million. More than a million. But since you told me to hang up on him, I don't know what else I need to do here. Okay? Y'all see the sign? Let me get a little closer. I want y'all to see the sign. You know, I'm going to come over here. 
Y'all know something? You see the sign? Y'all see the sign? Well, I say guess what he's doing? I think he's, he's, a, he's a dreamer. That says dream. Well, we all have dreams and we all want to dream. Right? But, however, with a name like Mr. Foolishman, I think you need all the help you can get. Yes, Mr. Foolishman, that's right. Okay. I'm going to go over here. All right. Okay, it looks like my job is coming to an end today. And, uh, Mr. Foolishman, I tell you what, I'm going to get ready to go now. You can put my check in the mail. And I'm looking for at least $1,000. So, you can put my $1,000 check in the mail since you're so rich and, and had me hanging up all these expensive contractors. So, you must be off of rich. So, since you're so rich, I'm looking for $1,000 in the mail, okay? All right. Okay, well, it was nice working with you. I didn't have much to do. What you mean you want me to stay a while longer? Okay, if I stay a while longer, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to polish my nails. That's what I'm going to do. You know, he got to be kind of foolish because he wants me to go ahead and polish my nails. So I guess he, maybe he's not that foolish after all. Because that's what I need to do. Look at those things. They need to be polished. And I'm going to polish them. Okay, well, that's the foolish man. I tell you what. I'm going to go home and I'm going to come back later. How's that? But before I leave, I need to write a little note and get to you. I need to leave a little note with you, and this is what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm going to leave a little note with you, okay? Okay, so um, here's my note. And it's got my address and phone number on it, so you know where to send the check, okay? All right. Mr. Fushman, it really was a pleasure working with you. But I think you need to change the name of that sign up there. Even if it is your name, you still can change the name of the sign. People change the names every day. If you can change your name, you certainly can change the sign. Because that name, people are not going to take you seriously. And I can't even take you seriously after you had me hang up on a million dollar possible contractor. So I want to ask you one more question before I leave. If you're really a millionaire, why you, what you need me here for? And why are you in that office? Why aren't you out there on the golf course swinging a golf ball or something? Out there on your million dollar yacht, I'm sure you got one. Out there cruising the ocean. Why are you not out there cruising? Why are you setting up setting up in that office? Although I appreciate you let you let your secretaries have an outside office even though you gotta be inside. Okay, we appreciate that. And I'll be glad to come back and work for you again. But it's just a piece of advice I'm gonna give you. Why don't you change that sign? Instead of saying, instead of your sign saying Mr. Foolish Man and Associates, why don't you, why don't you just change it to Billionaire and Associates since you're a millionaire? Yep, you have, you don't, I mean, you should really be out on your, on your, on your, uh, on a nice day like today. You should be out on, on your, um, out there on your uh, big uh, yacht boat out in the ocean, out there. Cruising the uh, wherever, the Bahamas or something. That's what you should be doing. Because I can hold down the office here. I think I did a good job. What do you think? What you mean? I did a fantastic job. I did exactly what you told me. Something that I would not do under normal circumstances. I would not ever, ever, ever hang up on a million, possible million dollar contractor. But you asked me to hang up on him. So I must be a good worker because it took a lot out of me to hang up on that man. Because I was going to ask him, uh, can I borrow some money from him? Before I hung that phone up. 
number, okay? And tell him, please tell him this. I want you to tell him that there's a, a lady in your office who is 82 years old and had been waiting for over 20 years for her social, almost 20 years for her social security. And finally got one check last month. And that a lady like that needs some money. Okay? So tell him that, uh, um, uh, call me. Okay? Don't forget now. Yes, of course. I already told you my name. Miss Margarita Scotchenberg. Or you can call me Scotching Martin or whatever you want to call you, call me. Just as long as you don't call me too late to get that call from that man, that million dollar contractor. Tell him to call me. That's right. Yep. All right. Well, I got to go now. I'm getting up now. Is it all right if I leave since it ain't really nothing out here to do? I'll come back tomorrow, okay, if you want me to. Because I'm going to leave my number with you. And I'm going to tell you one thing. If I come back tomorrow and that gentleman call again, that million dollar contractor, I... Don't you, I want to warn you in advance. Although you told me to hang up on him, if you tell me to hang up on him tomorrow, I'm going to get you a shrink. That's right, I said a shrink, a contractor. I'm going to, uh, what do you call those things that mess with your head? I'm going to get one of those things that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, do something, has something to do with, uh, what's going on in your head. Yeah, a shrink. A shrink, don't they call him a shrink? I didn't say nothing but a shrink. Those are the things in the ocean. I said shrink. A shrink. I don't know how he got so smart. He don't know what a shrink is. Ain't that something? Everybody know what a shrink is. Don't you guys know what a shrink is? Sure you do. You know what a shrink is. Everybody know. But maybe that's why that name fits. Mr. Foolishman and Associates, and he's Mr. Foolishman. Maybe that's why. Do -do 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 -do. Now, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, as long as you put my check in the mail, and you can call me, I'll come back tomorrow and work for you again. It's really been a pleasure. And I know I had to holler because you can't hear. And then the people in social media out there, they can't hear either. So I had to holler to them and holler at you. I don't mean holler at you, I mean holler to you. Holler out to you. That means shout out to you, call out to your name loud. That's what I mean. Okay. Well, I gotta get up here because I'm supposed to be saying something to these people. I'll be, uh, okay. It's been nice meeting you, but I gotta go over here. I gotta say something to these, to these fine people out over here. Okay. And I'll come back, I'll be back tomorrow, okay. If you want me, and I hope you do, because I definitely want to, I want to catch up with that guy, that, that uh, million dollar contractor you told me to hang up on. And tomorrow, maybe I'm going to go to work for him. Okay? If I'm not here, I might go work for him, okay? Alright, well, I got to get up now, because I got to say something to these five people out here. Let me get up here, too. Y'all, excuse me. Got a necklace on that's kind of keep going up there. But that's okay. I got to come to y'all with this. This is the dream sign. Okay. I want to say something to you guys. That is if you don't already know. Hold on for a second. I got to take the plan up there. Maybe this will give, you away, give me away. Okay. What I want to say to you guys is. Don't you guys know that you have been watching a theater play? That's right, you've been watching a theater play. Who else would put on a play like this? Look, let me get over here. Who in the world else would put on a theater play like this? And how many people you know that have an office outside? Why well, the boss have an office inside and they have an office outside? That's right. You have been watching a theater play, and a theater play is by Bonnie 
been tuning in to it. And we thank you for tuning in. And come back next time. Be sure to come back next time. And again, my name is Miss Margarita Scotchenberg. Miss Margarita Scotchenberg. And I bet a lot of you guys out there going to remember that name. That name Margarita. You know, I, I'm going to remember that name myself because it's my name. What's your name? What's your name? Never mind. Goodbye. See you later. Okay, Mr. Miss, um, Miss, uh, Foolish. Mr. Foolish Man, okay, if you want me to come back tomorrow, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, let me put your plant back. But I'm going to keep this sign because I brought this sign with me because I, too, have a dream. Well, this concludes this episode here on the Bonnie B. Hawkins Drama Time Theater TV. Be sure to come back on the next episode. Thank you for tuning in again.